said you said you were able to uh, pick up applications and all that stuff. Yep, I went to the Salvation Army. I, I went there yesterday. I toured the inside of the program. I spoke to the intake director. I told him that my friend Richard, who is my leader on earth, has a cousin who is getting out after 12 years, I thought. And um, he needed his, his stay out plan had fallen apart at the last minute. And his family didn't exactly live in Columbus, but he was from Columbus, correct? Correct. And uh, that his family members would be contacting me. And they said, they gave me the paperwork with the four phases and just told me the history of that one man saving 30 million people around the world now because of his program he developed. And I, w and I also spoke to a lot of the guys in the um in the program i sat there and talked to them because i'm very protective of my returning citizens especially if they've done 12 years and these guys it was black and white and they all get along they said you know they love it and they're learning these job skills and then the salvation army gives them room and board um counseling they they work their way through the phases and they graduate and then you know they get their own they have places you know that they can advocate for the men to rent um, a home because it's so hard for returning citizens to get jobs and housing so the Salvation Army will help them build skills and then they'll help them get into a place of their own and move on with their life and be productive members of society and, and that, that's, that was the main reason why I, I tried to get him situated with Richard to begin with is because you know, I, 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 I am fully aware of the difficulties you know what I'm saying again having that law degree and having done some legal legal consulting I'm fully aware of the difficulties and, and you know wanting him to be able to acclimate himself and he get himself situated so like you said so he can move on and be successful moving forward again at this point I, I just don't have I, 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 I'm a person that I like to have full details so that I can quarterback a situation unfortunately I, I don't have a lot of the details to be able to quarterback this scenario uh, so it's very frustrating to me, and, I, and, and let me stop right now and say I thank you for all the help that you've been for my family. Mm. Just for the mere fact that you're willing to go, go and, and do what you've done for my cousin and more and more, more so for my brother. I want to thank you and personally thank you for all that you've done for, for my family. Those are my people. I, I lived in a lifer cottage when I was in prison. I dedicate the book that I wrote to them because they gave me gratitude, you know, for every free breath I take and every, only the four year sentence that I got when I, when I entered that life or cottage, which is a 10 year and more cottage, um, I had tried to commit my suicide in the prison because I thought my life was over and, and they taught me to, to be grateful. So I'm teaching it to everybody and I just, I thank them, the long timers especially for everything they blessed me with and understanding how lucky I am. So, you know, I thank you for letting me help him because that's really what I live for. It's my purpose. Sure. So I've got this paperwork. Do you want me to fax it to your office so you can look at it? Uh, is there any, can you email it to my office? Can you email it to me? Can you scan it and email it to me? Yeah, I, it's, um, it's right here. I'm going to show, I'm going to show Richard too. Here it is, all the phases. And then, um, I can do that. I, I'll, I'll ask someone here at my office if they can help me. Uh, fax it over to your email. Can I give you my email address? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a pen so you can write down my email address? Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what, could you text it to me on my cell phone? That you just... Yes, I sure will. Okay, so you have a law degree and you're, you coach, right? Well, I, I'm, I'm actually the athletic director. I actually am the head of the athletic department. Okay, great. All right. Well, I'm so excited that you, you know, your your cousin or your brother definitely needs, I'm sorry, your brother needs your support. I mean, yeah. everybody, all my friends are falling back and because they don't have support. And, but I do believe that only the ones that have gone through it can get through, can get the other ones through it. So for him to come right. home is not the best plan of action. Maybe if he could come home and see his family, you know, I don't know what his plans are tomorrow night or whatnot. But he for sure needs stabilized and, you know, I'm here for him. I live only four blocks from the Salvation Army. Okay. On the south side. It's on South Parsons, or South High Street, excuse me. And so I'm right there and, you know, he can get my support anytime if he has some trauma issues or, or post-traumatic stress. Prison is very stressful. 
as you know. Did he do any programming in the prisons, do you know? Uh, I, to be honest with you, I, I think he, he was part of a, of a ministry in, in prison, but I, I am unsure, to be honest with you. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I spent a lot of my time, you know, when he was incarcerated, I spent a lot of my time focused on his kids, and I really didn't spend, I spent time writing him on occasion, but it really wasn't a go see him, you know, I, I saw him once when he was in, because like I said, I spent my time focused on his kids. I totally get it. I get it. I, my nonprofit fills in the gap for the families of the incarcerated and the children, but the the parents are the disease like me when I was sick. So so I tr you know I'm planning on treating the the family members with therapeutic community homes when we get out. That's what my focus is. But also the families and of course the children. I just had a benefit concert for the children to have online visits with their moms and dads. But thank you. And I am looking forward. Do you think he could call me tomorrow or or the next day? Say it again, I'm sorry? Could, do you think he could call me tomorrow or the next day? Well, what I, what I would do is, is I, I'm, I'm now trying to work my work schedule around where hopefully I can at least get up there for uh, a little bit of time to, to try to, to figure out what he's doing to get him situated. Uh, and then uh, I would definitely uh, make sure I have all this information with me when I see him. Um, including your number, so I definitely will okay I'm really excited you can google me Amy Wicks and see my story and I did write a book and I know the book would help him also to you know acclimate back into society but we can work on that later just just call me and keep me updated I know Richard will Richard is my hero leader on earth I I love Richard so I talk to him almost every day okay good okay hands up well, I, was, I was sending my email via text and uh, uh, we'll get the ball rolling now. Uh, I hope to get that, uh, that uh, all that information from you, and I'm praying off here at the office, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, hello to uh, Chillicothe, and sometime I want to come and speak there about a stay-out plan so people understand what I'm talking about, you know, because it is a homeland security threat. If, if we can't get, if returning citizens can't get jobs and housing and second chances and our families, I don't want families to enable they need to stabilize you know what I mean yep. and so I'm trying to teach families how to not enable but to stable and to let us be around positive people like ourselves that are to follow the lead you know and longtime offenders once we get him out and stabilize his testimony will help many people if you know we do it the right way it's one day at a time slow he can't be focused on money or making up for all the lost time right away it, it takes a while Right. I just got my mattress off my floor, and I've owned, I've been home for three years. So, <laughs> mm. you know, and I still live in a neighborhood that I love, but it's it's a very difficult neighborhood. But it's the place where people will be willing to rent or sorry rent to people like us. So it's a challenge. Right. But we I stay around the positive people. I keep to myself, and I work every day for my cause. Right. And I am not focused on money. Money is not the focus. So make sure you tell them. Right. Tell him you're but proud of him because he's a because he's gonna be loved each day. You don't expect him to be, you know, coming out here and making a ton of money and everything like that. He just needs to be loved. Yep. yep. Okay. Indeed. Okay, I will talk so I, to you I, soon. I will send you I will send you my email via via text and we'll go from there. Yep, I'm gonna send you the history of this place and it's beautiful. I checked it out, I went in there, I made sure it was safe and so thank you for calling me. All right, thank you. Okay, God bless. All right. Bye. All right.